What is up Cavs fans? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another brand new season, a full season, a full 82 game season. My name is Brad and I am your leader in this Just a Fan movement. Why Just a Fan? Because years ago I got very, very fed up with all the GM fans out there who think they know everything there is to know about the team and think they know what's best for the team. And after dealing with these types of fans for long enough, I got fed up and said, you know what? We need to have a movement that says, we are all in this just for fun. We are in this just to enjoy the adventure that is being a fan for this Washington Capitals team. So what I did is I started this YouTube channel to review every single Caps game from the viewpoint of just your average fan. Yeah, we get a little hyped up at times and a little ambitious at times, but in the end, we here understand that we just are a fan. We just enjoy watching hockey for the sake of watching hockey because let's be honest, it is the greatest sport out there. So now that introductions are out of the way, we can finally start the season by saying, Caps win five to one over the New York Rangers. <laughs> Remember when the New York Rangers thought that adding Ryan Reeves and a couple other goons to their team were gonna solve all their problems? Well, as it turns out, Ryan Reeves sucks at hockey and the Caps are really good at hockey. And the Caps, I don't wanna say dominated this game, but the Caps really took this game by the horns and ran with it. Lots of hype, lots of lead up to this game with the whole Ryan Reeves, Tom Wilson thing, with the whole Tom Wilson entire New York Rangers organization thing going on. But in the end, the Caps were able to put that aside and not worry about it and play hockey. The Rangers, on the other hand, weren't able to do that as much. And the only reason I say that is because the Rangers ended the game 27 hits to the Capitals 12. The Rangers wanted to play this game very, very physically, and they did but it didn't turn out too well for them. And boy, what a game this turned out to be for the Washington Capitals. I was lucky enough to go to this season opener and I had no idea going into this how historic of a game it was going to be. Historic event number one, Hendrix LaPierre gets his first NHL goal in his NHL debut. The Caps first pick in the draft last year, and he comes out, has a great training camp, a great preseason, and because of the injury to Nicholas Backstrom, who has to sit out for hopefully not too long, Hendrix LaPierre gets to step in and gets to show off his stuff, and not only does he play a great hockey game, he gets his first NHL goal. <laughs> off of a very sweet little play by Oshi. That was just, whoo. That is just TJ Oshie at his finest, ladies and gentlemen. Historic event number two of the night with that win, bench boss Peter LaViolette becomes the most winningest American-born head coach in NHL history. What a time to be a Cats fan. And historic event number three, the big kahuna of the night, Alexander Ovechkin gets two goals on the night, tying and then passing Marcel Dion for fifth all time on the all-time NHL goals list. Seriously, think about that in like the wide scope of the league. Only four other guys in the history of hockey have scored more goals in the NHL than Alexander Ovechkin. That is mind blowing. <sighs> oh, there's just, oh, oh, that's one. One of 82 and that's all it is. And I'm trying not to get overly excited about this because it is just one game, but Man, was that just so exciting to watch. And I think the buildup and the lead up to the NHL season is one of my favorite parts about being a fan. The anticipation for the season to come is so exciting. You can't help but get just... So yeah, TJ Oshie is able to smack home a rebound for the first goal of the game. Nick Jensen rips a shot from the left circle. That was very a la Ovechkin, but that comes back, it's turned over because it ends up being offside. It was a good call by the officials because it was offside. But then Schultz is able to rip one from the point and it deflects off of Zibanejad and goes in. Zibanejad has already scored a goal in the season. <laughs> Hendrix LaPierre is able to put one past the goaltender off a great little play from Oshie and the Caps go up 3-0. Caps go on the power play and it's a point shot from Carlson that almost hits Anthony Mantha in the face. That was very, very close, but it ends up hitting off his chest slash shoulder, 
goes right to Ovechkin's stick. It's a wide open net. Ovechkin Nick makes no mistake. He smacks it home. The caps are up for nothing. And then because the dude sitting next to me had to say the word, he just, he just had to say it. He says the word shut out. The Rangers go on the power play off of a very, very cheeky cross-checking call. It's a really, really good deflection by Kreider. Like, a really good deflection. No goaltender is stopping that. Vanacek is in sound position. He's covering the middle slash bottom of the goal. Everything you need to be doing. It, 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 the deflection is just able to elevate enough. It hits the corner, goes in. The Rangers on the board. It's 4-1. to one. But then it doesn't matter because Ovechkin rolls it back by getting another goal. What a great play by Kuznetsov here. Kuznetsov is able to recognize that Ovechkin has his defender beat. So he sends it deep into the zone. It bounces off the end boards, comes to Ovechkin, who's streaking down the right wing. He goes forehand backhand, dishes it into the net. The Caps are up 5-1, and history has been made. And then after that, it was just playing sound hockey to close out the game. The last few minutes, nothing really much happens. Not a lot of shots by either team, but the Caps are able to close it out. It is just, oh, it's just an exciting start to the season, and I hope you all are excited for the run that the Caps are going to make this season. I know I say it every single year, the Caps are going to make the deep run, but I mean it this year, the Caps are gonna make a deep run. Thanks for joining me on this first episode of a brand new season. We have 81 more games to go. <sighs> I gotta slow down or I'm not gonna have enough energy to make it through this season. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Just a Fan. If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed your time here, please consider subscribing. All of that helps out the channel immensely. I'd love to see you come back. And as always, let's go Caps!